Hi, I'm Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. And this is going to be a book haul part one. It's been like a week since I've done a video in general. Sorry about that. But also I have gotten a ton of books in the last few months. Some of these are even back to my birthday, which was in the middle of July. So yeah, this is part one. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to give this video a like. So, oh, also, I'm on Book Talk and Bookstagram. I'm super active on both of those places, so check those out as well. Those will be linked in the description box. I think let's start out with the books that I was sent. So, I have a stack here, and I'm going to start with these two first. I have Horror Hotel. This one was sent to me for my birthday from Inez. She sent it from my, my Amazon wish list. So thank you Inez. I actually read this already and this will be in my, what month is this? August? This will be in my August wrap up. So look forward to that. But I'll give you a brief little pitch. This is about a um, group of kids. This is a YA horror. This is about a group of kids who are have a YouTube channel and they're really big on YouTube. They're about to hit 1 million subscribers so they wanted to you know do something big to get there and so they go on a trip to LA to like the scariest haunted hotel there is and things happen at the hotel one of the kids in their like group gang or they call themselves the ghost gang um can kind of like see ghosts and everything so you yeah you know that makes the book interesting so I'll talk about this more I'm not going to give my rating yet in here so wait till my august uh wrap up to get more thoughts on this but i loved this cover so book number one next up saving noah by lucinda berry i don't know anything about this book all i know is that it gets pitched as a very dark disturbing book it's kind of like i don't know crazy and maybe gross i'm not totally sure i don't really want to know a whole lot about this but this one was sent from Zach and I's friend on YouTube, Megan. If you uh, want to check her channel out, I'll have it linked down below. Her channel is Reading with Meg. She's awesome. She's really close to 1,000 subscribers, and I really recommend her. So go check it out, and I look forward to reading this one. So thank you, Megan. And next up, I've got some publisher books. I'm a influencer for St. Martin's Press. And so I got, let me do the romance first. I got Bet on It and Fake It Till You Bake It. So those are the romance books I've got. I'm currently not reading a lot of romance. I'm kind of doing the opposite. I'm reading a lot of horror lately. So these will get to eventually. Look how cute they are stacked up. Love it. But anyway, those are the first two I got sent from St. Martin's. And then I got... A new thriller, Stay Awake by Megan Golden. This is one that I've heard a lot about. I talked about this in my August uh, like anticipated thriller releases or something. I read The Escape Room by this author. It worked okay for me. This one I think is like a girl wakes up with a bloody knife. She has no idea what happened. She uh, maybe murdered someone, but she has no recollection of it and on her hand or something or there's a note in her bag that just says yeah there's graffiti on her skin that says stay awake and she doesn't remember how it got there or anything that happened so that sounds good to me so thank you st martin's for all these and that's stay awake also they sent um a bag of coffee with that which i thought was funny because you know stay awake coffee so next up let's do some book of the month books First up, I don't remember what month was what. I think this one was our main pick in, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember which month. These are from the last two months. So we have Ruth Ware, The It Girl, which by the way, this is a chunky book and I've not read this. I also haven't heard great reviews for it either, but we'll still give it a chance. I've read one Ruth Ware book and Zach, oh no, I've read two Ruth Ware books and Zach, my husband, has read, um, two as well. I'll have his channel linked down below too. He's the Xbox. He's pretty cool. So this one I don't know anything about. Um, we're following a girl named April. Um, I think she died. <laughs> and I'm not going to read anything about it. So this was one of the books that we got. Next up, a controversial book. 
um, and that is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This one, I have avoided spoilers for this one. I have not read this one. My husband did. He, well, he DNF'd it, and uh, he's read all of Riley Sager's books, but I have not yet. So I do still plan to give this book a try. It just, uh, you know, hasn't happened yet. So this was another book we got from Book of the Month, and then this one was our August pick, and that is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This is my second Alice Feeney book. I'm currently reading it right now. I literally just started it. I'm only on chapter two, so not much I can share uh, in this, but I do know that it follows um, this family, the Darker family, and they are all reuniting, and you know, they have kind of a interesting, intricate past, so I'm intrigued to see what happens in this book. I've heard amazing reviews for this, so I'm excited to keep reading it. And uh, yeah, that is Days Darker by Alice Feeney. Let me get these piles out of the way. Next up, we have some Amazon picks, some Barnes & Noble picks, um, maybe even some Half Price Books picks. These are ones I got with like gift cards for my birthday and everything and this is not all of them this was just part one otherwise we'd be here for literally forever because there's been a lot of books so let's start with some others that i actually read this month this is come with me by c.a bainham this is an extreme horror uh novella honestly it's 27 pages long i read this i don't think there's a lot of reviews on it i just stumbled across it on amazon and i was like okay I can read an extreme horror novella that's 27 pages long why not you'll hear me talk about this in my August wrap-up but it's very extreme but also I had some problems with it so I'm gonna leave it at that actually I will say it's about Jeff who owns a, a scrap yard and he basically you know goes on the hunt for beautiful women brings them back to you know his place and uh things things happen terrible things happen so uh i'm gonna leave it at that because like i said it's literally 27 pages long so this is another august read also i have my goodreads and my story graph link down below um so you can keep up to date with what i'm reading but i do update that on tiktok and instagram as well another august read is i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy um this one is a memoir, obviously, of Jeanette McCurdy, obviously. I enjoyed this a lot, you know. I am going to, again, talk about this in my August wrap-up, but I would recommend this if you grew up, um, you know, watching Jeanette McCurdy. I was of the age that um, watched her on TV, and, you know, some of the stuff she went through is crazy and sad, and it was a catching title, um... I would recommend it if you know her and like her. So I read a nonfiction. I don't do that often, but I did this month. And also I love this cover. I don't have a lot of yellow books and definitely not pale yellow. So it's a very pretty book for like a depressing title. Yes. All right. Next up for some thriller and horror, we have The Paul Bears Club by Paul Tremblay. I read this and talked about this in my July wrap up. We got this last month. I think they might have even gotten it like on release day. I don't remember when release day was, but I remember getting it soon after it came out. Like I said, I talked about this in my July wrap up. This book was okay. This is about Art Barbara, who wrote a memoir basically about his life, obviously. Um, his time in high school, it started with. He started the Paul Bears Club because he needed something like extra to add on his resume. The Paul Bears Club is a club that um, basically they meet up at funeral homes and are, you know, help uh, Paul Bears for people who don't have family and all that. And then things kind of evolve from there with one of the other girls who joins the Paul Bears Club and. Yeah, you're reading this memoir. There's annotations in this book, and I don't know. I think I, I recommend this, but it's weird. It doesn't really have a great, it doesn't have a lot of plot to it, but it has one of my favorite characters of the year, 
Mercy. So for that, I recommend it. So there you have that. Next up, we have a new release thriller, and that is Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian, Jillian, I'm not sure which one, McAllister. This one is like a new, new release, like August new. And I don't, oh yes. Okay, so this one is following a mom who, or this one's about a mother who saw her son commit a murder literally outside her house. She has no idea why he did that, what happened, and you know, every night she goes to bed, it's another day before the murder actually happened. So can she stop the murder? Can she figure out why her son did this? I don't know, because I haven't read the book yet. So <laughs> this is also another thick one too. But that is Wrong Place, Wrong Time. And I think this came out like the first week of August. So I'm excited to read this one. And then we've got some Amazon books. We have Any Man by Amber Tamblin. This one has been making its rounds on Book Talk and uh, BookTube now. Um, I got this like about a month ago, I think. I don't know a whole lot about this book. I just know that um, Amber Tamblin is an actress from what movie? Why can't I think of the movie? Um, the Sisterhood, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. She was in that, but this is not anything like lighthearted like that movie. Um, I know that there it deals with a lot in this book and I'm super interested to know what all entails. I saw Elizabeth from Reading Riley uh, recommend this book on Book Talk, so that's where I got the idea to get this or why um, or her pitch was what made me want to get this. So there you have only or any man by Amber Tamblin. And then we have For the Sake of by Judith Sonneth. Judith Sonnet. I love the cover. And this one is, I don't know a whole lot about this one either. I know that this is extreme horror. It's pretty short too. And I think there might be a couple different stories in this. I'm not totally positive on that. This one I also saw reviewed by Megan reading with Meg. So she's the reason why I picked this up and I'm excited to get to it. Nice and short. So that is the rest of Amazon. Now we have some books from Barnes & Noble that I got like a month ago or so. First up we have Lemon by Kwan Yo Sun. This one really caught my eye in the bookstore. A because of the color, B because of the title, and C because of the blurb. The blurb says Parasite meets the good son in this piercing psychological portrait of three women haunted by a brutal unsolved crime. So that was all I needed to know. It's super short, literally so tiny and like literally like short in size too. So I'm excited to read this one. I've heard nothing about this book. So this is one I picked up just by reading a blurb in the bookstore. So there you have Lemon by Kwan Yo Sun. Two more. Next up we have Patricia Wants to Cuddle by Samantha Allen. This one was a cover by. This one I think is a new release horror. Maybe it's like a satirical horror. I don't know a whole lot about this. It looks like it says, on this season of The Catch, contestants must compete for love and their lives. Oh, interesting. A whirlwind romped careening toward a last girl standing conclusion and a scathing indictment of contemporary America American media culture. Fun. All right, cool. This one's not super long either, but like I said, the cover just intrigued me. So there you have Patricia Wants to Cuddle. And then last up, we have Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. This is one I was super interested in, A, because of the cover, and B, because it's a haunted house story, and I'm into that. So let me read you the pitch. Just Like Home is a darkly gothic thriller from Sarah Gailey, perfect for fans of Netflix's The Haunting of Hill House, as well as HBO's true crime masterpiece, I'll Be Gone in the Dark. I've heard really mixed reviews for this book. I feel like it's one of those where you either love it or you hate it. So I'm interested to see 
where I fall on that and um yeah I am hoping to read this this month this month actually so hopefully you'll be seeing this in my August wrap up but this is the last book I've got and that is Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey and like I said that wraps up my book haul part one like I said there's definitely going to be other book hauls also, we just went to the library and got like a ton of books, but I don't know if those books are or those videos are very popular. Um, but I could also do a library book haul if that's something that interests you. Let me know in the in the comments below because that would be something I would be willing to do. And yeah, that wraps it up. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!